All right, guys, have fun with it, okay? Here we go. <clears throat> Hold on, my son is screaming in the background. Welcome to our final performance. This is our Sunday fun day group of our improv class. This is our online improv class. So they are like super duper experts at everything online, as you can see by uh, all their amazing faces right here. Uh, this is an improv show. So the kids know what games they're in, but they have no idea what suggestions I'm going to throw at them. So it truly will be improvised on the spot. Look at Carly trying to model right after me. Keep it going, girl. You're rocking it. Hope you guys enjoy the show. I love working with these kids and it's going to be a really, really fun time. Enjoy. We're going to play a game that's called World's Worst. This is where I give our players a topic or an occupation or something to say, and they step forward with their example of the world's worst version of that topic or whatever. World's Worst. Enjoy. Okay, guys, I want you to show me the world's worst time traveler. Show me the world's worst time traveler. Who's got one? I bought this online for a thousand bucks, so it better work. That's what you get for buying time traveling stuff online. <laughs> December, show me the world's worst time traveler. Dad. You turned into a bunny and you died. They said that this would work. Uh oh. <laughs> Man, so many deaths from time traveling. Oh my goodness. Show me the world's worst tree house. Who has an idea for the world's worst tree house? Yes, Helena. I think for the world's worst tree house is going to be Mr. Jess is going to die in there. Wow. Thanks, Helena. Thanks for that. <laughs> world's worst tree house. World's yes, Olivia. This tree house looks nice. Spider infest. Cool. 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 Spiders. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Carly, show me world's worst tree house. Okay, I built my tree house and it seems sturdy. Oh, okay, well maybe not because I'm falling and I forgot to put in the nails. <laughs> Very good. Olivia. I forgot to um, put the wood in. <laughs> I forgot to put the wood in. <laughs> All right. Uh, how about the world's, um, the world's worst title for a book about good manners? The world's best book for good manners and this is also the longest title ever because i'm going to keep on going until oh you know what this is going to take hours to read good nicely done nicely done i'll go with december's donut thing the title of the book says um world's worst habits what that means that's not a good title. Not a good title. That, that's indeed the world's worst. Uh, Helena, did you have one? Oh my goodness, this one is called Throw Your Food at Your Dad's Face. <laughs> did you say throw your food at your dog's face? face? <laughs> Carly, last one. Untitled, made on Google Documents. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, last one, you guys. The world's worst thing to see when you first open your eyes in the morning. Uh, let's go with December's tiger. Okay, to take I don't know what just happened, but it sounded like it was bad. Olivia, did you have one? Why is there a daddy long legs in my bed? What the heck is a rabid squirrel doing in my bed? Elephant? Elephant? <laughs> Elephant? Elephant question mark. Elephant? 
we are going to play a game that is called House Party. This is where I am the neighbor of two people who are having a very crazy and raucous house party. And it's late and I'm cranky and I need them to stop this crazy party. But as I'm standing there at the door, I look over their shoulder and see more and more crazy things. And they have to tell me reasons why they have all these odd things going on at their party. Here we go. House Party. <sighs> knock, 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 knock. What? Whoa. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. I I'm, I'm your neighbor. Uh, I'm Steve. Uh, you're, you're very close to me right now. I need to. You're very close. Uh, uh, you, you guys are having like a crazy party here. I was just wondering if maybe we could like turn it down a little bit. Like, uh, um, that's not possible. Sorry. Not, but your your music is really really loud. It's like it's like three in the morning, and I, I gotta work tomorrow. Okay, no one cares about you, Steve. I, I guess. Yeah, that's that's my name, Steve. I I care about me. Um, I'm asking nicely. I, I'm so sorry. I I, can't, I have to ask you that. Do you do you have a Christmas tree behind you drenched in nacho cheese sauce? Yes. Why do you have a Christmas tree drenched in nacho cheese sauce? Um, because it's our Rose's birthday, our pump, sorry, our pumpkin's birthday, and uh, he loves nacho cheese, so. Your pumpkin has a birthday, and your pumpkin loves nacho cheese. Yeah. And that makes sense to you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, well, is, uh, is, is it just you partying all by yourself, or do you have anybody else there partying with you? I do have my sister, but I don't know if she went. You have a sister that lives with you? Yes. Oh. <laughs> wow, you guys, you guys really are sisters. Um, uh, you're so close to me right now. I just, I would love for you guys to back up. Um, no way! That's not, pos that's not possible. Our pumpkin told uh, our pumpkin is gonna curse us if we don't do this. So. Oh, okay. Uh, just um, all right. Is that pumpkin? Does that pumpkin have a raccoon sleeping on it? Yes. Why? Why? Why do you have a rac? Is, this, is that the noise that I'm hearing? Is that the raccoon snoring? Yes. <laughs> what? Why do you have a raccoon? It's the pumpkin's. It's the pumpkin's brother. The, the pumpkin has a brother yes. that's a raccoon. Yes. Again, that makes sense to you? Yeah. Hey, hey, crazy sister. Uh, tell me about that. Tell me about that raccoon back there. That raccoon likes to sleep on the pumpkin's head. Yes, we've established that for sure. Uh, okay, you guys, I, I just, I just want you to turn the music down. That's it. no, okay. it's not possible because the, the camels are gonna scream if we do. You have camels in there too. Yes. Why? <laughs> because the pumpkin invited them over, and they live like fifty yards away from everyone in the world. So, um, yeah. Uh, I. Uh, um, okay, I just, your pumpkins, your raccoons, your camels, you guys can do all of that, but I just need you guys to just... Awesome. No, we can't turn the music down because the crabs then, they won't swim. You have crabs too? Yeah. I, I don't understand your house. Um, mm -hmm. I just, I just, and why are you so mm -hmm. close? Why are you guys so close to me? It's really, I'm not going to kiss you, all right, you weird... <laughs> All right, you just need to back up. I'm just your neighbor. That's this is way too. No, no, stop ooming me. All right, don't oom me. Okay, I just need to put put, put the pumpkins down. Put the raccoon. No, I'm no. not gonna kiss you, you weirdo neighbor. All right. Kiss her or the elephants will go wild. You have elephants too. What is wrong? I know I'm not gonna kiss you. Will you stop trying to kiss me the entire time? Kiss all right. Her or the teeth will go crazy. You guys are nuts. All right. I don't stop it. I don't the want ponies. to live next we'll to eat crazy you girls. If you don't kiss her, you're gonna what? The ponies will eat you if you don't kiss her. You have too many animals. You have too many animals in your home. And you oh, also to... the llamas and the hamsters oh, and that's the it. pigs no, and no. the grass and no. 
Anna, no. uh, Ka- Anna, um, Anna. I'm leaving. I'm and, leaving. And Eastwood. I'm and, leaving. No, I'm and, not going to kiss you. I'm leaving. I, I'm out of here. Oh, Goodbye. Girl. Goodbye. No. And, Enjoy your party. Enjoy your party. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome back to the dating game. Wow, oh wow, do we have a great show lined up for you today. Let's just jump right in and let us meet our bachelor or bachelorette. Hey there, bachelor, bachelorette, what is your name? Lila. Lila, ooh, Lila, where are you from? San Francisco. San Francisco, oh, I love the Bay Area. And what do you do for fun there in San Francisco, Lila? My hobby is golf. Golf. Well, all right. Let's see if we can find you uh, somewhere to tee it up with, shall we? Let's meet our contestants. Contestant number one, please say hello. Hello. Thank you, number one. Number two, please say hello. Do you love the color red? <laughs> Thank you, number two. And number three, please say hello. Hi. I'm a police officer. See? Okay. As a disclaimer, I did not tell her to put on that makeup. Uh, Lila, what's your first question? (sighs) What kind of food do you like? What kind of food do you like? Let's go ahead and start with number one. I don't need to eat. Oh, why not? Because I'm invisible. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Thank you very much. Number two, what about you? What kind of food do you like? I grow tomatoes. Very kind of red. (laughs) Thank you, number two. Thank you very much. And number three, number three, what about you? What kind of food do you like? I like rice and candy. And for your information, that question was very insulting. All right. Thank you, number three. Wow, Lila, good start. What's your next question? My second question is, where would we go on our first date? Oh, the good old classic question. Where are you going to go on a first date? Let's start with number one. Where are you going? Maybe to the nowheres. The nowheres. Can you be a little bit more specific? The nowheres, period. Creepy. Thank you very much, number one. Number two, what about you? Where are you going on the first date? I, I'm going to go into Red Place. And what is Red Place? Red is where everything is covered with red. Even Legos. Sure, we all know about that place. All righty, thank you, number two. Number three, what about you? Where are we going to go on a first date? So that's very offensive, by the way. I would go to Rice and Candyland and eat donuts because I'm a cop. (laughs) Again, I told her nothing about putting on makeup. (laughs) All righty, last question. You're hilarious. Last question, Lila, what do you got? When would you get married? When do you want to get married? Oh, she's thinking long-term here, guys. What do you think, number one, when would you get married? Period. Your answer was silence, followed by a period. (laughs) All righty then. Number two, what about you? When are you going to get married? On Red Day. (laughs) And last but not least, certainly not least, uh, number three, when are you going to get married? If I did, I wouldn't get married to you because you ask very insulting (laughs) questions. All righty, Lila, it's that time of the game time for you to tell us who you're going on a date with and who is hitting the road. Oh, it's going to be really hard. I'm definitely not going on a date with her. Number three. Oh, number three. And why is that? Because she is a cop in Candyland. (laughs) 
<laughs> uh, she actually, uh, she just thinks that everything you say is an insult to her. What's um, her makeup? Yeah, I have no idea. Or the cop thing. I don't know. But uh, she ran with it. Sorry about that, number three. Uh, any final thoughts before you leave? I'm kind of happy. Anyway, I can just eat donuts when I actually become a cop. <laughs> All right, Lila. Who else are you not going to go on a date with? One or two? Two. Two. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And why is that? Because she's obsessed with the color red. She's obsessed with the color red. Yes, indeed. Number two, are you there? Number two. Well, number two was so shocked that she didn't win, she already left. Sorry, number two. You're going on a date with number one. And why is that, Lila? I think she's a sassy ghost. I've been doing this a while. She's a sassy ghost. That was amazing. Uh, number one, you have won the date. How do you feel? What, what, tell us everything. What's in your heart? Olivia for dinner. <laughs> Olivia for dinner. That means you, Lila. That has been the dating game. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great time. Second time, so number two. We are going to play a game that's called Slideshow. This is where I went on a vacation somewhere and I took lots and lots of pictures and uh, I'm going to show you my pictures, but all the players are going to be the pictures. I don't know what weird body positions they're going to make, but I have to somehow figure out what they're go what's going on in these pictures and make sense of it all. So Slideshow, here we go. Hey. Thank you very much for coming to my slideshow. I really appreciate it. I got to show you some amazing slides of my trip to the biggest, largest aquarium in the United States. It's in Florida, if you can believe it. huh? Those Floridians, they're crazy. They got the biggest aquarium. Man, I got there and it was just crazy. It blew my mind. As soon as I walked in the door, I had to take a picture of it because you will not believe what they have right in the lobby. What they have right in the lobby is this. Click. They got this lady who is just marking people's faces, all right? You don't buy tickets. You just go to this lady, and you give her a dollar and a half, and she marks your face that says, I'm R, or something like that. It's, it's really weird. And the, then the other lady, she says, do you have a ticket? And I say, I don't know. I got something on my face. And then she started dancing like an Egyptian. And I was like, all right, it's Florida. What do I know? All right. Um, but then bunnies started dropping from the sky. And I'm like, this is the weirdest aquarium I've ever seen in my life. Click. So I came to this aquarium because I wanted to see one thing and one thing for sure. I wanted to see them sharks. Huh? You know, I love me some sharks. So I had to go straight to the shark exhibit. But I got there and it was closed. And I was like, what up with that? And I talked to this guy. I was like, why is this exhibit closed, man? And he told me this. I took a picture of it. He told me this. Click. He told me that the shark exhibit was closed because a tiger, a tiger got loose inside the shark exhibit. And I was like, that's not even possible, man. And he was like, oh, yes, it is. And I was like, why are you, why are you holding this thing? And I'm like, I, you were weird, man. Uh, and he's like, it happened because the mermaid, the mermaid got loose too. This, this crazy weird mermaid, she got loose and jumped in with the tigers. I'm like, hold on. There were sharks and tigers inside. Oh, no, there's mermaids and tigers inside the shark exhibit. And they said, yeah, it happened. And I'm like, oh my good golly. And then a lady with the baby showed up and said, where are the sharks? And I'm like, they closed because the tiger got loose. And she's like, oh, my poor baby. And I go, I know, I'm disappointed too. Click, so I got no shocks. I got writing on my face. And I'm like, what am I gonna do, man? I, I came here for the shocks. I'm like, well, I might as well get some food because I know they got a good food court here. Uh, so I went to get some food. Uh, and you know what's the weirdest thing about the aquarium? They got a delicious seafood section. It's just a little odd, I thought, but I'm like, hey, when in Romania, huh? You just got to do it. So I got some seafood at the aquarium uh, and all the fish were looking at me like with these glaring eyes. And I'm like, what? I, I didn't cook this. I'm just buying it. So uh, they started looking at me even funnier. And I'm like, I'm gonna take a picture of these weird fish. Click. And the fish, they somehow knew that I was taking a picture of them because one of them put up a fin like this with a peace sign. And I was like, oh, that's odd. And then I looked behind him and there was the baby swimming with the fish. The baby was in the fish tank swimming with the fish. And I was like, uh, uh, hey, there's a fish, there's a baby in the fish tank. And they were like, that's okay. We'll send in the donut police. And I'm like, you're going to send in a donut to save, save the baby? Uh, and I'm like, that's not good. And then the lady who like sold me the ticket by writing on my face, she showed up and she's like, do you have a ticket for the food court? And I'm like, I don't know. She's like, you got to have writing on both sides. And I was like, 
okay, you're crazy. And she's like, that's what it says on my face. I'm crazy. I was like, I got to get out of here. Click. So I decided to head for the door because this place was too weird. It was bonkers. All right. So I decided before I left, I raced the door. But before I left, I took one picture over my shoulder. I camera and I took a picture because they were like chasing after me with like crazy lady and 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 fish sticks and all kinds of weird things so I took a picture over my shoulder this is what I got click they were throwing unicorns at me the baby was out it was running after me uh some lady who was doing laundry there because she was like doing laundry in the fish tank she had a laundry head and she was running after me and then there was that scary lady with the writing just staring at me and she was like, don't you ever come back. And I was like, don't you worry, crazy lady. I ain't never coming back because the words escape me about how crazy you are. <sighs> that was my trip to the aquarium. Don't go. It, don't go. It's just bad. It's just bad. Thanks for coming to my slideshow. That was our show, you guys. Thank you for watching. It was crazy. It was weird. It was crazy weird. Uh, I take no responsibility for Carly's face uh, or anything that was said by anybody else. It's improv, so I bear no responsibility. I hope you guys can come back for another session. I had a lot of fun with these guys, and I hope you guys had a good time tonight. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Everybody say goodbye. Everybody say goodbye. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Stop kissing the camera, Helena. Stop kissing the camera. Bye. Bye. Bye.